Thank you so much for joining us for our song and story today. We hope you're having a good day, and we look forward to sharing with you. Our song today is another scripture song taken from the book of Psalms. I think you'll find it to be encouraging. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. What time I am afraid, I will put my trust in thee. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain. That's not my bunny. His tail is too fluffy. Oh no. That's not my bunny. His paws are too rough. That's not my bunny. His tail is too woolly. Be gentle. That's not my bunny. His eyes are too shiny. That's not my bunny. His nose is too wrinkled. One more page. That's my bunny. His ears are so soft. Can you feel his ears, brother? Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never Suffer the righteous to be moved. What time I am afraid, I will put my trust in thee. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Today we have another tale from Buttercup Grove called A Windy Spring Day. God gives us friends when we're afraid. The words are by Wendy Dunham, and the pictures are by Mickle Sparks. And we thank our friends, the Griffins, for this set of books. One, Skunk Needs a Friend. It was a windy day, and Skunk was home alone. He was afraid. Skunk curled up in the corner of his couch. It's so windy that my house is shaking, he cried. Skunk pulled the blanket over his head. Oh, no. I know. I will call Raccoon, then I will not be afraid. Skunk ran to his phone. Hello, Raccoon, is that you? Is it windy at your house? Yes, said Raccoon, it is very windy. Skunk's house shook again. Is it so windy that your house is shaking, he asked. Yes, said Raccoon, my house is shaking. Skunk peered out from under his blankets. Is it so windy that you are afraid? It is windy, said Raccoon, but I am not afraid. Then why am I afraid, asked Skunk. Because you are silly, said Raccoon. But do not worry, I will come to your house. Oh, Skunk was surprised. You will come to my house, he said. How did you know that's what I needed? Raccoon smiled. Skunk, I have known you for a long time. I know you are afraid of the wind. You always need a friend when it is windy. You are a good friend, said Skunk. I will be there soon, said Raccoon, and I will bring a surprise. Chapter 2, Raccoon's Surprise. You do that what, what, what do you think Raccoon's Surprise is going to be, Nathaniel? A kite? No way. Yeah. You think so? What, what shape is a kite? This kite. Hmm, let's check it out and see. Raccoon got his backpack. He put many things inside. He put two long sticks. He put in some newspapers. He put in some tape. He put in one pair of scissors. He put in a big ball of string. He put in one long piece of ribbon. Raccoon put his backpack on. Then he walked along the path toward Buttercup Grove. The wind pushed him back and forth, but Raccoon was not afraid. Finally, he reached Skunk's house. Raccoon knocked on the door. Skunk was still on his couch. Come in, Skunk yelled to Raccoon. 
When Raccoon touched the door, the wind blew it open. Are you still afraid? asked Raccoon. Mm. Skunk jumped off his couch and ran to Raccoon. You are here. Now I am not afraid. Raccoon took off his backpack. I will show you the surprise, Raccoon said. Raccoon took, off, ev took everything out and set it on the floor. Skunk looked at the sticks. He looked at the newspaper. He looked at the tape. He looked at the scissors. He looked at the string. He looked at the ribbon. Do you know what we can make, asked Raccoon? I do not know, said Skunk. We can make a kite, said Raccoon. That is a nice surprise, said Skunk. But I do not know how to make a kite. Don't worry, said Raccoon. I will teach you. Chapter 3, Making the Kite. Raccoon formed a cross with the sticks. He tied them in the middle. The sticks will make our kite strong, he said. Hmm. Then raccoons tied string from each end of the sticks to the others. The string made a shape. It did not look like a circle. It did not look like a square. It did not look like a triangle. It looks like a diamond, said Skunk. You are right, said Raccoon. Our kite is a diamond shape. Raccoon set the diamond on the newspaper. He cut all around the four sides. Raccoon gave the tape to Skunk. Rip small pieces of tape, said Raccoon, then give them to me one at a time. Skunk gave Raccoon small pieces of tape. Raccoon taped the newspaper to the diamond shape. Now we will make a tail for our kite, said Raccoon. A tail, said Skunk. That is silly. I have a tail and you have a tail. Why does our kite need a tail? A tail will help our kite fly, said Raccoon. But our tails do not help us fly, said Skunk. We are not a kite, said Raccoon. A kite is different. Raccoon took a long piece of ribbon. He tied it to the bottom of the kite. There, he said, now our kite has a tail. Next, Raccoon took the, took the ball of string. He tied the end to the middle of the kite. Our kite is ready to fly, said Raccoon. But we are not ready, said Skunk. What do we need, asked Raccoon. We need our friends, said Skunk. They will want to see it fly. You are right, said Raccoon. Enters the cat. Hi, Cricket. Skunk ran to his phone. First he called Mouse. Then he called Rabbit, Mole, Beaver, and Fox. Hurry and come to my house, he said. Raccoon and I have a surprise for you. Chapter 4, Sharing the Surprise. Mole, Rabbit, Mole. Mouse, Beaver, and Fox hurried through Buttercup Grove to Skunk's house. We are here, they shouted. We cannot wait to see the surprise. Raccoon held the kite so everyone could see. That is a wonderful kite, said Mouse. It's a good thing it's windy, said Beaver. Will it fly, asked Rabbit. We will find out, said Raccoon. Raccoon gave this kite to Skunk. But he, Raccoon, held the ball of string. When I say go, said Raccoon, run fast, then give the kite to the wind. How can I give the kite to the wind, asked Skunk. The wind does not have hands to take it. The wind will take it, said Raccoon. You will see. Raccoon yelled so everyone could hear. Get ready. Get set. Go. Skunk held the kite up high. He ran across the yard. He ran down the hill. He ran as fast as he could. All of a sudden, the wind took the kite. It flew high in the air. Higher and higher it went. It waved back and forth across the sky. Its tail followed close behind. <laughs> Everyone took turns flying the kite. This is a very happy day, said Raccoon. And a very windy day, said Mouse. Skunk smiled as the wind blew his furry tail. And I am not afraid. The Bible says, when I'm afraid, I will put my trust in you. <laughs> Psalms 56, verse 3. <laughs> a windy day. A windy spring day. We've had a bunch of those lately. I burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved.
sweet. What time I am afraid, I will put my trust in thee. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Thank you so much for listening to our song and story today. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.